everyone, welcome to my update to Voodoo 101. First, I'm gonna talk about what's been added to Voodoo since my last video. So let's open up the options. A lot of what's been added has been mostly cosmetic or organizational. For example, the threat and incoming panels have been combined into one. One of the new features is AoE advice, which will basically give you a hint for good targets for your AoE healing spells. For example, for Circle of Healing, it will place an icon on your healing unit frame for whoever has the most people in range of them that will benefit the most from the spell. And you can also set thresholds for the amount of healing the spell will have to do for it to show up at all. I've been using this feature for a little while now just to test it out. And personally, I found as a 10-man healer, it isn't that useful, mostly because since there's only two groups, there's only so many options for my prayer of healing and circle of healing. And a lot of the time I'm pre-casting my POH, and so if I waited to see the icon pop up before casting it, I would lose some time. But I would see how this would be more useful in a 25 man. The cluster section has been updated as well. For example, with the cone option, which is perfect for light of dawn. And he has also added some text options here. Let's head over to the Spells tab. One of the new features in the Spells tabs is Keys Local. Now these are basically for Voodoo's internal macros, and the good thing about that is that they don't take up macro space in Blizzard's default UI, and they aren't limited by the 255 character limit. If you assign a keybind to a macro in Keys Local, you can assign that same keybind to another spell under the default keybinds for when your mouse is not over the Voodoo frames. The keys global section is what used to be the keys section in the previous version of Voodoo. And you'll also have to set them up by using the standard Blizzard keybind UI. The debuff section has had a couple additions as well. A live time, this will show you the time since the player got a debuff instead of the remaining duration of it. Checking off full duration will show you the last 100 seconds of a remaining debuff instead of the last 10 seconds. And visuals got their own section with new timer and stacks options. On to the panels tab. If you remember from the indicators tab, we had the side left and side right additions. Here's where you would configure how wide you want the sidebars to be. The hot icons got two new slots, and there have been two more priest-centric additions called shield status and pump ages. And there are text options for timer and stacks. And for your hot icons, you can increase the size of them as well. Another thing I'd like to point out is, remember before how we were talking about the new AoE advice feature? For that to work, you have to give that some place to show up. So for example, I have set that to be a hot indicator, so it will show up right there where this number 3 is. I've made my hot indicator for Grace a little bit bigger because I have stacks enabled on that, and it's a little harder to see the timer on a smaller square. Alright, I think that just about covers some of the new features in Voodoo. I've gotten a lot of requests to show people how to have their Voodoo set up like mine, so that's what we're going to do next. So now I'm going to switch over to my baby Shammy, since she doesn't have Voodoo set up at all, and I'm going to show you how to set it up to look like mine from scratch. And this is what Voodoo looks like when you first get it. So let's open up the options, and again this is just cosmetic, how to get it to look like mine. I'm not really going to go over any of my spell settings or hots or anything like that. This is just for looks. So in this expansion, I've only been using the group panel, so I'm going to delete the main tags and private tags panel. So to do that, we're going to go over to move, and this is where you can like drag and drop sections into other panels if you want to. Um, but I'm just going to delete these. You can keep pets if you want, that's up to you. When I'm reading, I don't generally need to heal pets, especially since a lot of my AoE heals will hit them anyway. And now let's hit 25 and hit hold to test. And this is gonna give us a preview, I guess you could say, of what it's gonna look like so we can kind of check that out while we're making edits. All right, so now we're gonna go to threat incoming and check off text because that's how I like to see who has threat. Then we'll go to indicators and turn off border, multi, and aggro, since I already handled the aggro. Then we're going to go down here to special dot, and this is where, I know it may seem odd, but this is where I show my bubble, my power word shield. And then you can change the scale there, and you can go over here to edit it, and you can change the icon. Like you can make it a circle, but I just kind of like the way the cluster indicator works. 
and the priority will show orange for weakened soul and then once weakened soul wears off the blue will show up if they still have a shield on them then let's head over to mouse over and we'll choose single because I like a little bit of highlight when I am you can't really see it here but when I am hovering over something I just like a little bit of a highlight and you can also choose your texture for the highlight I like to try to make everything match so since I'm using LVI at the moment and I'll put a link for you at the bottom I will choose his texture now for some reason I couldn't get the class color text to work unless I went to text first and then checked off class colors before I adjusted any of my other panel display options. So go ahead and do that now. Click on the panels, then text, then check class colors and then we can go back to indicators and modify the bar background and health bar colors. Let's head over to bar background and we're going to choose the texture we want. Again I'm going to do LVY so it matches. I'm going to hit edit and I'm going to choose flag always solid and I'm going to make sure this is a white color and then we're going to go back and we're going to go down here to health bar and hit edit now for this particular setting we can't edit it we have to make a new copy of it before we can change it so we're going to change this and I'm just going to call it YouTube we'll hit copy all right so now it's called YouTube and we have all the settings as before and this is where I'm going to choose a dark color I also like the dead flag to be black text since it's going to be on a light background it's kind of hard to see so I'm going to choose a darker text color another thing I like to do is remove the overheal highlighter hit back all right you can't really see the change yet that's because we still have the generic one selected so we just have to choose the YouTube one and there we go and then click on panels the groups right now are vertical, so group 1, group 2, group 3, so on. I happen to like them horizontal, so if you click that button, they'll be laid out like this. 1, 2, 3. I also like them to be sorted by max HP, which means the person with the lowest health pool will be on the right, and the person with the highest will be on the left. Okay, now for the panel. I don't really like background or border, so I'm just going to turn the opacity down on both of those and also I'm gonna select none from the border options and that should get rid of that and then you can head over to sizing you can adjust this however you like how I like it is I like them to be 85 wide and 35 high I like the gap at 8 and the spacing at 5 now we'll head over to bars and again, we're going to choose the texture that you want. I'm going to choose Elf. Mana bar height with the classes who have mana. I like to see how much mana they have, especially other healers, which is helpful for timing our mana cooldowns. I like to have it set at 1, which is big enough for me to see. And I don't like to see panels flashing when there's damage, so I just turn that off. I don't really care for headers since it's pretty easy to remember which group is what, so I just turn those off as well. Head over to text. I like the text to be in the middle. I like it to be class colors. And here is your font settings. And I am going to use the Elv font. And I like it to be 12. I do like the hit points to be shown. And I prefer to see the remaining health left. If we go over to hot icons, I like the third option. And this will be a generated list based on your class of all the hot options you have. I like the hot indicators to be flat, which basically means it's going to be just a plain old square. If you choose icon, it'll show the actual hot icon. And if you choose glossy, it'll be kind of like a 3D looking square. But I prefer flat. And I like to see stacks as text. Hot bars, I also use this for renew and prayer of mending. But you can use this for pretty much anything. Again, the spell choices are going to be up to you. Go over to miscellaneous, and I don't really care to see raid icons. If you're doing a lot of pugging, I could see it being useful if you're just not sure who is what. I don't really track overheals that much either since, especially now in Cataclysm, people aren't overhealing as much as they used to. Then head over to colors and make sure the background is checked off because when I get a debuff, it's more helpful to me to see the whole bar light up as a debuff color. You can change these to be whatever color you like. Head over to modes and check off incoming. 
This is important because this is what will color your health bar with the green color based on how much health and incoming heal is going to land for. I usually like this to be a bright green. And if we head over to HOTS, this is where you can customize what color your little square is going to be for your HOT indicators. And this is where you can also customize the cooldown or the timer display. And HOTS 2, this is where you change the colors for the HOT bars. On my priest, I like Renew to be green and I like Prayer of Mending to be a goldish color. And that's pretty much how I have mine set up. Now, before we do anything else, we want to save this profile. So we're going to type in a name for the profile and hit save. And now that is saved. And this means that you can also have a completely different look for your first or second spec or five mans, 25s. And the key layout section is where you would save profiles for your spell setup. So for example, on my mouse, my scroll wheel click is Circle of Healing for Holy and it's Penance on Discipline. So if you have two different healing specs, make sure to save different layouts and to assign them their appropriate spec. And that about covers how to get your Voodoo to look like mine. Again, everything is customizable. Once you get really comfortable with the settings, you can really tailor it to what you need. Okay, now I'm going to respond to some of the questions I received on my last Voodoo video. I had a few people ask me what my unit frames were. For that particular video, I was using stuff unit frames. I was also using some textures that I found on wowinterface.com. The texture you saw in the video was from Fisher's Media Pack. If you like having even more texture options for your bars and unit frames, you should definitely check that out. The casting bar I was using is called Quartz. I also got a question asking me about the artwork on the bottom. Those are actually KG art panels that I created myself in Photoshop. Okay, that pretty much wraps up everything I wanted to cover. If you have any more questions, please leave a comment below and I'll try to answer them. If you'd like this video, thumbs up and subscribe. Have a great day.